tested positive for Gaucher disease and have been to the Royal Free Hospital for assessment, this short video aims to guide you on the way forward for managing the condition. Well, the good news is that there are treatment options available and the mainstay of treatment is enzyme replacement therapy. We've said that there's lack of an enzyme and it makes absolute sense that there are now treatments whereby you can give that missing enzyme, you can give it back uh, and it's given through uh, an infusion, intravenous infusion. The infusions are given every two weeks. You will have the first infusion at the Lysosomal Storage Disorders Unit at the Royal Free Hospital, so you can be observed for a short time afterwards in case of any reactions. If all goes well, you will have subsequent infusions at home, so you will be able to fit them in around your lifestyle. Since this is a long-term treatment option, it's very important that patients understand exactly how the whole thing works. And we think it's quite important that patients play a part in their own treatment and that over time they take ownership over this aspect and then they can incorporate it into their everyday life. At all times you will receive help and support from our specialist team and we'll make sure we see you every six months to see how you are getting on. You have no option, so you might as well just put it into your life in the least intrusive way possible, which is not very intrusive because, I mean, for example, you can get a nurse to come to your house to administer the drug to you. You can go to the hospital and get the drug administered. You can administer the drug yourself. And you're only asking, that, I mean, the disease is only asking of you to be treated once every two weeks. The first one to three infusions of enzyme replacement therapy will be given at the Lysosomal Storage Disorders Unit at the Royal Free Hospital. If all goes well and your doctor is happy with your progress, all future infusions will be at home, unless there are clinical reasons for them to be continued in hospital. If you would like more information about Gaucher disease, the Gaucher's Association is a UK charity promoting awareness, pioneering research, and providing support and information for those affected by Gaucher disease. www.gaucher.org.uk